Hi, in the previous lesson we learned how to create a query design, a total query, and gather the result uh, by months. And if you already know this, you can skip to the second part of the video. Anyway, this is my table. I'm going to sum the amount using the sales date. If I run the query now as a total query, it will gather by day, so day by day. If I need to gather by sum, I need to change the format of the sales date. You can type direct here or you can use the expression. So I'm going to, re, uh, I'm going to format the sales date as months using the month's name. But we have one problem. In this case, it will gather the months across these. So we have five years, but we still have only November. We don't know from which year this one. So if I sum, I will have only 12 results. So if I have April 2010 and 2020 and 2015 all gathered as April, if I need to separate year by year, I have to edit the format. I'm still in the format date, um, adding two code, comma, two code. Y, 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 one code, close. Why I add two code here? To tell the expression I need to stay in the format, not to go to the next information, which is various day of the week. Anyway, if I rerun the query now, I will get April 2015, April 2016. This was fine, but we really have one problem. This is sorted according to the alphabetic. I need to sort it year by year. So this is month list. I can take the exact same expression one more time here. I will name this one year. And the format will be only year. This fine, it will separate them year by year, but inside each year they were sorted alphabetic. So Okay, this is 2000, if, sorry, if I sort here, um, ascending, so this 2015, but April, August, December, this is an alphabetic, this 2016, again, we have alphabetic, and so on. If I need to sort logically using date, we will do a very simple trick. This field, I don't need to uh, display, so I'm going to remove uh, the check. I will multiply the year by 12. So I, I just wanted to make sure each year is away from the other year by 12 number. Then I'm going to sum the month number. Month number, so I will type only 2M or 1M is enough. So for example, 2015 will multiply by 12, then add it for in this case if i sort the sort will be correct as you see here it is sort in the right way so this is the expression one more time if i take the year 2015 and gather the mass it will be something like 2016 which is not very good as a sorting result this is why i might apply first by 12 just to make sure every year is away from the other year by 12 number so after I gather the months, it will be correct. I, I hope it is clear. I will keep this line uh, in the description box. 